Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the transform effect. The transform effect works just like the transform properties of a layer, that's anchor point, scale, position, rotation, and opacity, only the transform effect allows you to change the transform properties and a few others for multiple layers. Here I have a simple animation. I'll apply the transform effect to add some movement just as a way to add some finishing touches to this animation. So first I'm going to add an adjustment layer. To do so, I'm just going to right click anywhere in the layers panel, go to new and select adjustment layer. Then I'm going to go to the effects and presets panel. If you don't see that, go to the window menu and check effects and presets. I'll click in the search field and start typing out transform, T-R-A-N-S. There I will see the transform property. I can just click on it and drag it right onto the adjustment layer. When you add the transform effect on something like an adjustment layer, everything below the adjustment layer is going to be affected when you change the values of any of the transform effect properties. For example, if I increase the scale, you'll see everything below that adjustment layer is increasing in scale. And to add a little bit of movement to this animation to give it kind of a handheld camera effect, I'm just gonna add a simple wiggle expression to the position property. To do so, I'm gonna press the Option key on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, click on the stopwatch for position. I'll type out wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E, open and close parentheses, and now you just need to enter in two numbers separated by a comma. The first number is the frequency or speed. How often do you want the value to change? I'll type a comma, enter the second number, which is the amplitude. This is how much you want it to change. I'm gonna type in a real low value. I'll type in five. I'll tap the space bar to preview. And now you should see some subtle wobbly movement that really adds some life to this animation. And if I increase that number, just to give you an idea of what this wiggle effect is doing, I'll go from five to 15, tap the space bar, and now you can see it's a little more exaggerated. And one thing to realize is when you change the value of the transform effect, it is not affecting the layer transform properties. So if I change the scale property, whether I increase it or decrease it, Notice that the scale property on the adjustment layer is not being affected when I change the values in the effect controls. So if I decrease the scale using the transform effect, that's decreasing the scale of all of the layers below it. If I go to any of the graphic layers, let's say this character here, and I tap S, the scale transform property of that layer is not being affected by the transform effect. Or if I were to hide the visibility of the adjustment layer where I have the scale decreased, notice everything goes back to full size as the layers are only looking at the transform properties of the individual layers. You apply the transform effect above if you want to change those transform properties for everything below it. So the next time you want to make a global change to the transform properties without needing to change them on each layer, try the transform effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.